Ever since Gordon Klingenschmidt tried to shut down Right Wing Watch for bullshit copyright claims, uh, they have been schooling his ass from now until Sunday and exposing his childishness. Well, listen to what he said this week. This is insane even for him. Now let's take a moment and discern the spirits. I want to put up there again this picture of this gay couple, these two men holding up a baby. And I want, to, I want you to notice that one of them, one of the men uh, almost has his tongue hanging out like he's licking his chops. Like this baby is ours now. And, and that's fine, you may call that love, but it looks to me a little bit like lust. And when they crave to bring the children of heterosexual couples through adoption into their home, so that they can raise them in the homosexual lifestyle. And studies now show that up to 20% of kids raised by gay couples become gay themselves. It is a recruiting tool. And it's a child abuse tool. Oh. Oh. You can't recruit gay people. Either somebody's gay or somebody's not gay, just like either somebody's straight or not straight or bisexual or not bisexual. There's a spectrum of sexuality, but you are where you are on that spectrum. But it's used as a recruiting tool. And the picture that he's talking about, I mean, I can't, this is out of bounds even for him. The picture that he's talking about is just two gay guys for everybody listening on the radio. It's uh, apparently two gay guys who I wouldn't have even thought were gay just from looking at the picture because I don't, who knows if that's their baby. It just looks like two guys, one of them is holding a baby and they're both looking at him making like funny faces that you make to a baby to like joke around and stuff and smiling and happy and all that stuff. I, no, I don't think lust when I look at that picture. That looks like a normal picture. It looks like a stock photo you find on any website for you know, a, a, a toy for a baby, for example, or for baby clothes or something like that. Uh, the fact that this guy immediately thought, number one, definitely a gay couple because it's two guys standing next to each other. Already he's like, uh, you know, jumping to conclusions. And number two, lust. I don't know how that enters a normal person's mind. No, see, everything that's on the picture, this is an actual case. He's just projecting it onto the picture. He's saying, of all of my already held preconceived notions and beliefs and my fears and all this and that, I'm just going to put that on the picture. He's interpreting it in a way that no other sane human being can interpret it. And then also, I mean, what did it say on the screen? It said 95% of Americans disapprove of uh, homosexual abuse of children. Well, I'm actually surprised that's not 100%. Everybody... Uh, disapproves of abuse of children, it's abuse. Whether it's gay abuse, straight abuse, alien abuse, uh, Martian abuse, whatever, it's abuse. In fact, I don't know how that poll is not 100%. It's kind of crazy that it isn't. I, <laughs> uh, the guy is out of his mind. And then also, uh, he says it's child abuse to have, you know, gay, f gay uh, couples or families raising kids no, as the studies have shown, it's not child abuse at all. In fact, oftentimes the kids of gay parents turn out better than the kids of straight parents. And there's different theories to that. So, for example, one, one reason for that might be they already know that they're in a society that's not too accepting of what they do. So they're more of a close-knit family. And there's more love and uh, affection that goes around and caring. But you know what, what's more like child abuse? Raising kids and telling them that if you have the wrong thoughts, you're going to hell. You're going to live in eternal torture forever. That's closer to child abuse, and that's just standard Catholic teaching in a lot of places. That's much closer to child abuse than uh, being raised in a, in a loving family. And the numbers that he cites, he said, oh, 20% of kids raised in a gay household turn out gay. Yeah, but there was a study that said 20% of the population is not heterosexual anyway. So that would be right in line with the statistics. It's not... I, look, I can go on and on all day talking about the multiple ways in which this guy has really, really deep-seated uh, emotional issues. He's not, like, he's not, it's not just, oh, he has a different belief system, he disagrees with us progressives and secularists or whatever. It's not just that. There's plenty of guys who I would say fit into that category. No, this guy has, like, you know, I don't know what the, what the issues came from, what he's dealing with, what happened in his personal life. 
something happened in this guy's personal life that has made him into this, uh, you know, monster of a human being that has these grotesque beliefs.